Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'm going to explain you light emitting diode LED. And to understand that, first I'll be discussing about basics of LED. After that, I'll explain you how working is there with LED. After that, I'll be discussing about material selection for varieties of colors of LED. Then we'll see how intensity of light that can be changed in LED. And at last, I'll be discussing about applications of LED. So let us see first how basic symbol is there with LED. Symbol of LED that is similar to normal PN junction diode symbol in which you just need to add two outer arrows. So these two arrows indicates this diode can radiate light means this diode is light emitting diode. Here this is anode terminal, this is cathode terminal, right? And this is how basic symbol is there with LED. Before we see working, you should be having some basic understanding related how material is there with LED and for that let me discuss about basics. So here when it comes to basics, see LED is made up of direct band gap semiconductors. So there are basically two types of semiconductors, direct band gap and indirect band gap. In indirect band gap, we have silicon and germanium. In direct band gap, we have compound semiconductors. To understand direct band gap and indirect band gap i have made one separate video you just need to go through that video and that is available in electronic devices playlist right you just go through it it will give you idea about what is the exact difference in between direct band gap semiconductor and indirect band gap, band gap semiconductor but first you need to understand one thing see led is not made up of silicon and germanium silicon and germanium those are indirect band gap semiconductors and LED is made up of direct band gap semiconductors. In that, we are having compound semiconductors like gallium arsenide, gallium phosphide, gallium arsenide phosphide, aluminium gallium arsenide. Likewise, there are varieties of compound semiconductor material by which we can fabricate LED. Right. See, LED will emit light in forward wires. Forward wires means here anode will be connected with positive terminal of battery and cathode will be connected with negative terminal of battery by which you can keep that diode in forward bias. In forward bias, it will be radiating light. See, radiation of light, that is based on recombination of electrons and holes at junction. See, here recombination will happen in entire structure. But majority of recombination, that will happen at junction. Right. So, here because of recombination, it radiates light. That I'll explain you in working, but right now you just need to understand this point. Because of recombination, it radiates light, right? See, color of light, that is based on energy band gap EG. And this energy band gap, that is purely based on what kind of semiconductor that we use. So here, with varieties of compound semiconductor material, we have varieties of values of EG. And EG is HC by lambda where lambda will tells you what is the color of LED, right? Our eyes can see 4000 angstrom to 8000 angstrom wavelength. So if you select EG, which will define lambda, which is there in the vicinity of 4000 to 8000, then humans can see that light, right? So here, the color is based on EG and EG is based on semiconductor which we select. So, as per EG is equals to HC by lambda, you will be observing varieties of colors. Now, let us try to understand how working is there with LED. So, as I have told you, to turn on LED, all we need to do is, we need to keep PN junction LED in forward bias. So, here to keep this in forward bias, what we do is, we connect P type with positive terminal of power supply or battery and this N type that we connect it with negative terminal of this battery. That is how we can keep this light emitting diode in forward bias. Now, here, see, as if you keep this in forward bias, what will happen? If you keep this in forward bias, this depletion region width, that will decrease. In depletion region, what is there? In depletion region, there will be ions. So, when we fabricate LED at that time, at the side of P type, there will be formation of negative ions and there will be formation of positive ions at the side of N type. 
and this depletion region will not allow flow of current from p type to n type and to have a flow of current from p type to n type we are applying external biasing over here and that biasing will be forward bias right here what will happen is you see as if you keep this pn junction in forward bias then there will be recombination now what is that see in p type we are having holes as a majority carrier so let me consider by this color we are having holes you can observe here we are having holes over here as a majority carrier so let me note it down this is holes right and here minority carriers will be holes right and see we will be having we will be having uh, electrons we will be having electrons as a minority carrier over here in p type so let me draw electrons here right so few electrons will be there at p side and more electrons will be there at the side of n type right so i am keeping more electrons over here so this is electron right now see what will happen as if you apply this forward bias then see this holes this holes they will be going towards they will be going towards n type why the reason is you see here positive terminal is connected here negative terminal is connected right and because of that what will happen see these holes will be moving towards this side right and these electrons these electrons they will be moving towards this side and these holes will get combined over here with electrons there will be recombination these holes will be combining with electrons and these electrons will be combining with holes and this recombination process majority of portion of recombination that happens over here nearer to junction and as recombination happens it will be releasing energy see as if recombination happens then what will happen it will release energy let me show you over here in this energy band diagram see in direct band gap semiconductors here we are having conduction band here we are having valence band right and as if i talk about free charge carriers let us talk about electrons so let us say here we are having one electron right now see this electron which is there in conduction band now this electron is moving over here in this valence band and it is getting combined with the hole so there is a recombination so electron was there in higher energy state if i say here we are having energy let us say let us say it is e1 and let us say here we are having energy state that is e2 so higher to lower energy state transition is happening and as if it is happening over here as it is happening over here it will be it will be radiating light it will be radiating energy it will be radiating light now you might be thinking like why it is radiating light the reason is this energy eg this energy eg that is as per hc by lambda where lambda is there in the region of 4000 to 8000 angstrom and that that wavelength 4000 to 8000 angstrom wavelength that can be seen by humans right so here see this structure of conduction band and valence band with respect to momentum k right that is there as per direct band gap over here that is there as per direct band gap so as i have told you to understand direct band gap and indirect band gap you will have to go through my video in the lecture series of uh, electronic devices in which i have explained that in great detail right here only one thing that you need to understand here we are having uh, energy state e1 here we are having energy state e2 if electrons are moving from conduction band to valence band and as if there is a recombination then it will be releasing energy and that will be light energy as if this difference is there in the vicinity of visible wavelength as per hc by lambda right so due to recombination that is happening so as if these holes are getting recombined with electrons and these electrons are getting recombined with holes it will be releasing energy in form of light right now let us try to understand how we can have material selections for different colors of led as i have told you we are using
compound semiconductor materials those are direct band gap semiconductor material like if you observe for ultraviolet we are having aluminum nitride aluminum gallium nitride for violet color we have wavelength which is there in between 4 4000 angstrom to 4500 uh, angstrom in terms of nanometer it is written over here right if you wanted to have that in uh, terms of angstrom then just add one zero over here that is how you can have it for blue color see some materials are listed i am not saying you to remember these materials with respect to varieties of colors but i just want to convey we are using compound semiconductor materials and those compound semiconductor materials are direct band gap semiconductor materials by which we can have light emitting diode and color is based on which material that we select right like with red color you see we can have we can have aluminum gallium arsenide we can have gallium arsenide phosphide we can have gallium phosphide as well by which you can have red color and red color is having wavelength which is varying in between 6100 angstrom to 7600 angstrom now in red also there are varieties right like as if you talk about females then they know like what is red color there are varieties of red colors if they go for if they go for shopping somewhere in some mall they will be selecting light red dark red like i cannot explain you how how many reds are there but th those reds are there as per varieties of wavelengths right now let us try to understand how intensity of light is there so intensity of light in led that is purely based on how much current that is passing through this diode and to control current passing through diode we need to connect one series resistor right and value of this resistor that will define how much current will pass through this diode if value of this resistor is high current passing through diode will decrease and as if current passing through diode decreases intensity of light will be less over here with this led so if you want higher intensity you will have to keep this rs value to be lower selection will be as per you see vs minus vd or you can say vs minus vf divided by if and here see if you increase current there are higher chances of this damage which will happen with this diode right so you just need to keep it bit low and you will be having some range in that range only we should be using led right so intensity is based on series resistor which we connected with this diode here if you talk about applications then here i have just listed few applications only right like we are using that as an indicator for example if you talk about one indicator right now you can observe here in my mobile here there is indicator right light here that is glowing i don't know exactly is it visible in front of you or not but that is how indicators are there in varieties of embedded system b1 right see in remote control also we use led and in remote control usually we use infrared led right and that infrared led that cannot be seen by humans the reason is our eyes cannot see what is the wavelength of infrared right in fiber optic we are using led nowadays we are using broadband right by fiber optic we are having higher bandwidth so to transmit signals through fiber optic cable we are using leds we are using lasers even right in decoration i think almost you might have seen how we use led so there are varieties of applications i have listed few only so that is how things are there with led i hope you have understood this still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in the comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video